All right, on tonight's graveyard shift, while I take care of my son and have a couple minutes to myself, I am going to be trying to model uh, a toaster, which was a request. I'm just gonna do a simple toaster, not too much detail. I'm not sure I'll get into uh, materials um, in this video, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so Blender 2.79, I'm gonna switch to cycles. Screencast keys are on and I am going to, I think, just delete everything and look three and five, uh, look from the side there. I'm gonna go Shift A, Mesh, Circle. I'm gonna switch to, I think, 22 vertices. Rotate Y90, so this is what I've got. I'm going to Edit Mode and Vertex. I'm gonna Box Select and delete all those vertices. I'm going to A to select and to scale in the Z. I'm going to flatten this out. I'm just going to make sort of the curvature of the toaster. All right, so with those selected, I'm going to hit E to extrude, and I'm going to pull down a ways. And then I want to make these uh, nice and straight. This is going to be the bottom, so I'm going to go SZ0. And that's what I've got. E to extrude. I'm going to pull them out a ways, although I am going to be doing a mirror in a bit. Select it all and control and flip uh, polys. Let's look at this front side again. Let's go ahead right away and get rid of the grid floor there. So hit the grid floor there and do that. All right, switch over to face selection. Uh, C for paint select and I'm just gonna swipe across like that. So I've got that. Now I'm gonna hit E to extrude and S to scale. I'm gonna scale down like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this out. Maybe I'll scale a bit more. And um, I'm gonna to try to get this, you know, curve. All right, now this part has come up, so I'm gonna hit one to go into front and wireframe, and I'm gonna be box select just to get the bottom faces or vertices, whatever, and I'm gonna go SZ zero. All right, now, next thing I'm gonna do is, from the front, I'll go back into solid view. Let's put a line right down the middle, control R for a loop cut right there and in wireframe let's grab all of this and x delete those vertices select that bring it closer to the middle so that i can mirror this let's come over and do the mirror we're going to mirror here in the z and uh, put on clipping and then bring it in a little bit release and we'll get that okay so I've got this shape. Now, let's go ahead and put on a subdivision surface. Like that. And smoothing. And we're gonna need some edge loops to make this uh, work out. So, control R, let's bring that down. Let's put an edge loop here like that. And let's put one in here. And let's try one right here like that. Now, let's see what this is starting to, to look like. Okay, so I start to get that effect of that shape. Now, okay, so far so good. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and apply that mirror and have a look at this. Well, I think maybe I applied the subdivision surface. Oh, let's go back out here. There we go. Yeah, I applied the subdivision surface instead. Let's just make sure I got my... All right. <laughs> let's apply the uh, mirror. There we go. And see where we're at. Um, if I was to bring just another edge loop up there, that might give me a bit more of a tighter, tighter look to that. Okay, um, control seven for the bottom and uh, face selection and C. And I can just paint right over it. It's not gonna go up on the sides because I'm an orthographic. I'm just gonna do that, get everything on the bottom. All right, and I'm gonna go X faces. And by the way, I should select it all and W, remove doubles. Good for me, nothing to get rid of. Uh, Shift Alt and click that edge. And now I'm gonna go E and S scale out a bit and then gonna bring it down to make some kind of a base uh, all right I am gonna need some edge loops down there let's put an edge loop right here like that 
And uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a single, single slice here. Now, how about if I was to take this and Control B? Oh, what about what else have I got selected? There we go. And Control B to bevel, and make a certain width that I want for my toast. Like, like what if I wanted like that? Let's say. And then I just come in and um, delete maybe those faces or extrude them down. And that'll be my toast. So let's go ahead and do that. E, and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. E, and I'm going to bring it down a bunch more. Quite a bit, actually. My toast would go in there. Um, and then I'll put an edge loop down there to tighten that up. Maybe I'll bring one more up. Let's see how that's starting to look. Um, I could try to come in here to straighten that out and see how that affects the curvature of the toaster. Yeah, I might get some problems there, so I think I might just leave it like that. I think I like that. Anyhow. Um, how's that face looking? Let's, uh, let's bring that in a bit more and bring one more. Yeah, that, that looks better. So the toast could go in there. I mean, you could delete those faces if you wanted to. Uh, I think it's, I think it's how many? Um, up to you. I could delete those for now, and I can rebuild them later. That would tighten up the smoothing a little bit anyhow. Where's the front? All right, let's have a look at the front. Now, what if I was to inset for this, do that. Uh, I don't need it that big though. Take it back. I think my son might be waking up. That's why I'm going a little quick here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an edge loop here. I'm going to define an area. Actually, I do want it up higher. Because I'm going to put a little knob there. And this doesn't, a little area for a switch doesn't have to be too, too big, does it? Well, maybe a bit bigger. down there so maybe I will take this all right let's, let's let's see how that would look E and come in a little bit E come in a bunch more I'll go ahead and delete that face for now and for this part where are we uh, I'll do that and I will do an edge loop down and up and we're just going to check the curvature again. Okay, that looks okay. Do I need an edge loop on inside here? Yeah, I will put one in anyhow. Okay, and with that edge selected, it's central, so I'll go shift S cursor to selected. And I will bring in a plane. Let's rotate Y90 and scale it. Period key to zoom in. Let's uh, scale this in the Z. Okay. Um, e and scale in the X. Will that bring me an ammo? Alright, just do it this way. Uh, like a piece of metal there. Something like that. Okay, 
So let's take this back face here and we'll uh, delete that. Um, take this front face here. That still may be too thick, I don't know. Take it all and push it in. Do origin of geometry. assume I would probably bevel this just so that casts some uh, catches some light cast some light in fact I may be able to delete that front face too let's try that select that and uh, make sure my origin is there. Shift S, cursor be selected. What am I going to do for this part? What am I going to do? I'll just bring it a cube for now. Scale it in the X. And this, this part might be pretty simple. Hmm. Set E scale X. Uh, something looks odd about that. Yeah. Um, what if I just add a subdivision on that? Smooth. Two edge loops scale in the X. But I want something like that. I doubt it. <laughs> Probably got to be square. That's too small for the rest of the toaster. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I do want just like a simple cube. want just that beveled. I just want to see how close I want it. But possibly it's got to be bigger though. Try smoothing on that. do this and it with end ons. Might not care though. Okay. That's pretty central, so let's bring in another circle here. Rotate X90. way down to like that. Select it all and control in to flip polys and let's take this end and E and bring it back. Let's take the whole thing out so I can make a little end piece on it. Let's go E and S a bit. E and S way down and E and come out a bit because I'll put a subdivision surface. Do it again. Let's just do it like that and uh, set origin to geometry. 
Let's bring this in. This stock was too, too big, but we'll do subdivision now. And then we'll uh, clean it up. Let's put an edge loop here. Bring it down and here. Let's do one up. And let's do one down. Let's do one up here. And we'll hit smoothing. And then what I was thinking was to give it a bit of texture, I would shift alt and click all those faces and hit I twice, I, I, and then pull to get the size I want, and then E and alt S, and just pull out a little bit. And then control R to put an edge loop there, and control R to put an edge loop there. Let's see if that's, I get a bit of that effect. Um, I might need, because I think I'm going to put a different material on this. I might need to bring this in a little bit. I, th I don't think I like this. And I don't really like grid fill that much. So I'm going to delete those faces. And I'm going to uh, reselect that edge. And so i got a bit of a space there. So I'm going to go E and I'm going to come in, pull it in. I think I'll say S to scale like that. E and S, I prefer E and Alt M, Merge and Center. I don't care, I just do. I'll sharpen that edge up and then I can put like a silver in there or black, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with materials. Put an edge loop there, let's see if that's enough. I don't want it too sharp, I kinda like that. small or too big <clears throat> hope it's not too too small it does look a bit small for the for the toaster in general and um, I wonder if this hole is too big I wonder if I could easy it would be if I would like it more like that and then this guy could come up I don't know if I like that as much or if I like it more let's have a look at the back control one and I was just thinking loop there right was I thinking of that I don't particularly like that well, I could tighten all this up later I don't know I don't know exactly how sharp I want it yeah or bring an edge loop out here I don't know all right anyways um, control one let's see if, what I've done here uh, a little space, you know, where the electrical cord comes out. Um, how do I want to do that? I mean, if I just just a quick test here, and if I uh, scale this, what direction is that? Scale in the X. Um, if I just, I'm probably gonna get back to this, but just do it like that. Am I affecting anything? I mean, I could just do that, couldn't I? Sometimes he has these little spurts and uh, goes right back to sleep. I don't know if I'm crazy about that shape. goes up a little bit high you know compared to this base but maybe it's just a personal thing um, oh it's just a little small thing I don't know what now 
maybe this thing here needs like an arrow on it. The plane rotate x90 and scale it. Period key, front view. It's pretty small, I can make this bigger. Uh, let's just start this. Take these points, scale them in the X, just don't merge them exactly. I was thinking like, you know, like an arrow for, let's try it. Let's eat, extrude it, just like that. And uh, we can get rid of the bottom face. Oh, you know what, just get rid of the front one there. And then flip it, rotate Z 180. Why search for the bottom if you don't have to? I was thinking like along the lines of this. What did I just do? Yeah, okay, just like that. Okay, what if I... Um, how easy is it for me to... Uh, Expand this. This needs control plus. And uh, what I want to do? Just scale shift y. Scale shift y. I think. Do I have an edge loop there? Do I need another one? That's pretty small arrow. Can I just make it bigger and? different settings on this like you push that down and then you would think your toast would just go uh, but do I need like text on this maybe I need this down and select that shift S cursor selected shift A mesh uh, text there rotate X 90 set origin geometry we'll do it this way and scale it down flip it. Don't you flip that text. Like I was thinking, um, like off. Okay, let's hit N and under shading, let's turn on ambient occlusion. And let's, uh, I don't have very good fonts, but let's go over to the fonts and click uh, open and did I save here you can just you know navigate to where you want to go let's say like Windows uh, fonts and under your bookmarks just press the plus and you have a bookmark you can quickly get there uh, I'm just gonna do it go with this one and let's say I bevel a bit and resolution not worried about polys really let's make it a bit thicker Would it, have, would it say off? What if I did that and then um, low, medium, high or something? I don't know. You can adjust the positions of all uh, these. Ask me to make a piece of bread. <laughs> I couldn't do it. No, well, you know, and then <clears throat> that's probably most of what I would want to do. You can put a little 
a little button here and there if you wanted to. Sometimes they have that. Um, I don't know if I could easily get one in here. Probably could, but um, I don't know how worth it it is to do it. You know, if you want to keep it just kind of a little bit minimal. Um, and then if you just wanted to see it, like I say, I'll, I'll probably do some uh, some shading stuff later, um, or texturing or whatever. Um, if you just wanted to see it, like I, I just tend to like that. I know it's like a ZBrush. You could make these sharper. Um, I kind of like it like that. Um, yeah, well, you know, just to check out your your shading. And maybe you would want to close off these faces on the inside. But that's one way that you could at least get the basic shape. And you may have to tighten up uh, these edges a little bit. But it's not bad uh, for what it is. And probably wouldn't be using a shader like that. So you wouldn't see it like that. It would be like that. And although I'd put a metalish, a plasticky type thing. Okay. So, yeah, there's my my uh, toaster maybe it is a little bit tall I don't know um, you could uh, you could mess with that and decide if you, that is too tall and then just readjust readjust things if it was One thing you could do is you could uh, cursor to select it and shift A and bring in um, well, different ways to do it. Make a group or bring in an empty. Uh, there. And then you could uh, take all these things. select uh, the empty and control P and then um, you know just uh, use the empty to move everything or scale if, if so desired as long as it's central okay maybe it doesn't have to go there make sure that we are on the surface. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So we'll see. Uh, maybe next time I'll just throw some basic materials on this. Okay. Thanks for watching.